and welcome to my channel. My name is Martine and if you are new here, I do videos on Vedic astrology mainly but also with some tropical insights and I focus on both relationship and natal astrology. And if you like this video and you would like to hear more content from me, please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video. And if you're interested in a personal consultation, I do consultations on a wide variety of topics. Please check out the video description, I will leave the contact information there. Thank you. So this video is going to be in continuation with the Aruda Lagna through Signs series. And before I get into it, once again, if you don't know what Aruda Lagna is, what sign it's placed in, please check out the video description. I will leave a link there to a video that I made a while ago, which is very concise, very to the point. Using examples, it will show you exactly what Aruda Lagna is and how to calculate it and go ahead and watch that video to see if this video applies to you or not. So, to get right into it, Virgo Aruda Lagna. It has been a while since I have done one of these. Wow, like, it's been almost two weeks, but bear with, like, okay. So, uh, Aruda Lagna in, in Virgo. So, the first house. I'm going to go through each house as usual. Uh, describing how each of these houses affect the way that the world will perceive you based on the Aruda Lagna. And, right, so, Virgo. This shows that people will perceive you as a quiet individual, rather serious, intelligent, um, resourceful, analytical, concerned with health and fitness. So you could be seen, you could definitely be somebody who will make it big in, like, any kind of profession that has to do with, you know, uh, bettering your physical health. So, like, personal trainer, even doctor, so anybody connected to the medical science or natural sciences, even things like bio, you know, anything that is connected to natural sciences, so, like, biology, microbiology, the more detailed, the better, because you come across as somebody who's very detail-oriented, so you could definitely do well in anything connected to research. And also just anything that requ requires a lot of meticulousness. So, like accountancy, for instance. Um, parenthesis, right? So, <laughs> going back to the description, right? So, you come across as analytical, uh, concerned with health and fitness, like I mentioned. So, rational, logical. And also, I said quiet, but it's not necessarily that true that you're always going to be seen as quiet, but you're going to be seen as somebody who um, doesn't speak unless they have something to say. So you're not going to be seen as somebody who's just, you know, babbles about a lot for the sake of whatever, like feeling comfortable or talking small talk or something. You're just going to be seen as somebody who, you know, really is very precise in their expression. Right. Second house from the Aruda Lagna will fall in Libra, which shows that you will be seen as somebody who is diplomatic in speech. So when you speak, people will perceive you as a really non-confrontational person, which again makes you good at anything involving diplomacy. Um, you're going to be seen as having an attractive way of speaking or an attractive way of using words. You can even be seen as poetic. So again, this could be, you know, good in a wide variety of fields. Actually, it's it's a good thing to have in general, but especially when it comes to, I don't know, diplomacy or being an artist, because you can express yourself really attractively and artistically. You also come across as quite educated and refined when you speak. The third house will fall in Scorpio, which means that people will see you as a force to be reckoned with. You're going to be seen as somebody that people don't want to mess with. Uh, you are going to be seen as somebody who has tunnel vision when they set to achieve a certain goal. So you're somebody who's not going to be easily deterred from their purpose and from their direction, no matter what. So. Basically, people will see you as a threatening enemy if if they are to become your enemy. So people are not going to want to mess with you. And uh, this could make you good at things like police force, like, you know, defense things, anything where you, 
you know, any kind of profession where you are required to have kind of a tough image, um, you will be in an advantage in those professions. Of course, depending on other placements in the chart, like this in itself will not necessarily show that you can make a great policeman or military or anything like that, but it is a plus. And so people, in, in, in other words, you're going to be seen as somebody who really just gives it all. Like, you give it all for achieving your particular purpose or whatever it is that you set out to achieve and whatever it is that you desire. Um, the fourth house from the Arudalag now will fall in Sagittarius, which shows that people will think of your, or will have an impression that your family of origin was tolerant, intellectual, um, they might be seen as people involved with teaching professions, so professors, especially um, higher academics, so people who are teaching maybe university level or master's degree or doctorate degree, people involved in spiritual fields, this could be religious leaders, um, this could be um, philosophers, so anybody involved with higher intellectual pursuits things like philosophy like um, spiritual interests like uh, law as well so you could be perceived as uh, somebody who comes from a family of lawyers or judges or you know something like that um, things to do with justice basically things to do with high ideals and your family of origin is also going to be perceived as tolerant and well-educated adventurous and uh, phys both physically and intellectually and also just wise and optimistic in general. So in other words people are going to think that you have had a good environment growing up. Um, yeah, The fifth house from the Arudalagda will fall in Capricorn which shows the way that people will perceive your children is that they are serious, wise beyond, your, wise beyond their years uh, mature, not necessarily flashy, so quite unassuming, maybe even modest, but very determined, nevertheless very disciplined, very hardworking, and determined to achieve a high social status in whatever their respective professions or interests may be. And also you could be perceived as somebody who is not, <laughs> uh, because the fifth house is also like how you deal with pleasure and fun in general, so you could also be perceived, you yourself can be perceived as a person who doesn't really loosen up easily, so you could be someone who, um, you know, for fun you just put in four extra hours of work on your particular craft or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So you you could be seen as somebody who's a little bit workaholic. Um, yeah, so the sixth house from the Arudalagna will fall in Aquarius. The sixth house shows how you are perceived when it comes to competition, when it comes to how you work and how you assert your how you assert yourself basically in a competition or in the job market for instance and it also shows how you treat your subordinates and your pets and what kind of pets you might have and stuff like that so Aquarius being here shows that people will see you as not necessarily a very threatening uh, competitor but they will not want to mess with you simply because you come across as very unpredictable. So people are not going to be able to see what your next move is. And because of that, you are going to be seen as somebody who, again, you know, kind of going in hand with the third house being a Scorpio, you're kind of going to be seen as somebody who people don't want to mess with. Like, you look, as some, you look like somebody who can be a formidable um, adversary to anybody, basically. And Aquarius is also the sign of science, and it's also everything that is unusual and unorthodox. So you could be seen as somebody who, for instance, likes exotic pets, for instance, or you could be somebody who, when it comes to your subordinates, again, you can be perceived as somebody who is not predictable. So maybe one day you're praising someone, the next day you're very 
sober and critical and harsh, especially since Aquarius is ruled by both Saturn and Rahu. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to be seen as somebody who's really unpredictable when it comes to competition. And yeah, that's the short of it. The seventh house from the Aruda Lagna falls in Pisces, which shows that people will perceive your partners, your romantic partners or your business partners, as dreamy, romantic, um, creative, imaginative, empathetic, maybe even psychic, sensitive, spiritual, and could be people who are involved in charity. So like you're charitable, I don't know if that's a word, I think it is. Um, so people who are concerned with, you know, the welfare of humanity in general or different social causes. Um, and uh, they're also going to be, so your spouse is going to be perceived or your romantic partner is going to be perceived as somebody who is quite uh, religious or at the very least, you know, spiritually oriented. doesn't have to be like they are involved with a organized religion, but they are going to be seen as someone who's concerned with, you know, the greater plan and what, it, you know, what happens after you die. So this could be a wide variety of things, like they can be interested in astrology, they can be interested in tarot and all kinds of things, like even, you know, things like um, contacting spirits and contacting the dead and stuff like that. So, yeah, everything that is in the realm of psychic things can be something associated with the way that people see your partner. Uh, and also, it shows that the people who will openly oppose you, so your open enemies, people who will tell you to your face that they don't like you, um, will be governed by Jupiter, and particularly Jupiter in Pisces. So this mainly shows religious leaders or people who are very spiritual. So in other words, your spouse and the enemy are governed by the same thing, <laughs> um, which is Jupiter. So you could receive opposition, open opposition from religious figures or people who are um, involved in, again, any kind of spiritual practices, I don't know, but people who are defined by their faith, basically. That's what Jupiter shows. Uh, more, this is the main thing, but Jupiter can also show teachers or anybody involved in the teaching profession, so you can receive open opposition from that. Okay, um, the 8th house falls in Aries, which shows that your health is going to be perceived as quite robust, but you're also going to be seen as somebody who is maybe a little bit accident prone. Um, so, but generally you're going to be seen as rather strong and athletic and strong, like physically, you know, tough and all that stuff. Um, but you, again, you can also be seen as somebody who's kind of impulsive and accident prone. And when it comes to getting loans, you can also be, you can also encounter hurdles because you come across as somebody who is quite impulsive in their spending and maybe not the most reliable person when it comes to paying back your debt. Um, of course, this is taking into account that there are no planets in this house. Of course, there are. if there are other planets aspecting or sitting in this house, then the general interpretation will change, and this stands for every, every one of these houses. Um, the ninth house will fall in Taurus, which shows that the class of people that are going to support you most in this life are going to be young women, on the one hand, so young women in general, uh, and on the other hand, it could be anybody which is ruled by Taurus, so it can be people involved in um, business, all kinds of businesses, particularly import, export, uh, just good old-fashioned businesses like sales and, I don't know, producing something and selling it or buying something cheap and then selling it for a higher price. So basic business involving material goods and it can also be people involved in agriculture, involved in gardening, um, any kind of flower related business, 
And of course, nowadays, when I say agriculture, it can also be people who are like involved in the higher levels of agriculture, like, um, you know, what do you call it? Bioengineering or, yeah, people working for Monsanto, uh, <laughs> you know, anything connected to flowers and like plants and all that stuff and agriculture. And it can also be people involved with uh, fabric things, tailors, fashion designers, um, jewelry makers, singers, so people involved with music, stuff like that. And also, of course, these, so any kind of artistic profession, in other words, pretty much. Um, and this is good to take into account, like, for instance, when you start a business or when you... I don't know, you want to attract investors, you want to target these people that are signified by the ninth house from the Arruda Lagna. And obviously this will change, of course, again, if there are planets sitting in the ninth house or planets aspecting the ninth house. Uh, but this is the general description that we'll stand no matter what. So yeah, you will get a lot of support from young women. And when I say young women, I mean women who have not had children yet. That's what it, that's what young women means, because once a woman has a child, she is signified by the moon instead of Venus. Okay, and let me see. Um, the 10th house will fall in Gemini, which shows that people will perceive your career path and your social status as being versatile, um, involving a lot of communication, so you can be perceived as somebody who really has used communication to create a career for yourself or to create a social status. Um, this can be all forms of, of communication, any form, any form that you can think of. Um, and it, it can also show, interestingly enough, that you are perceived as having kind of a dual role in society, so uh, or multiple roles. So you can be known for multiple things in society, like maybe you're an actor who's also a politician, for instance, or something like that. So you can be seen as somebody who's really versatile in terms of your career. And versatile and adaptable, you know? Right. And also just very intelligent. And also you can also be seen as somebody who is involved in trade, of all kinds. Okay, and the 11th house from the Arruda Lagna will fall in Cancer, which shows that you're going to be perceived, or you might actually be someone who has an older sister. Uh, you're going to be perceived as somebody who is, has an older sister. Um, your friends are going to be seen as nurturing, feminine, so maybe you're going to be seen as somebody who has a lot of uh, women friends a lot especially a lot of friends who are mothers um or your friends or your older sister could be perceived as mothering particularly towards you and you're also going to be going to be seen as someone who um can make money through speculative business so not maybe speculative business is not the best word um, source, you can have money from multiple sources of income, but especially changeable sources of income. So, um, for instance, sales, you know, sales is something where, I don't know, one, like, I don't know, if you're like, for instance, a sales representative for whatever, doesn't matter what, um, medical machines, medical devices, like, I don't know, I suddenly got this from the pursuit of happiness, because I remember uh, Will Smith was running around selling medical machines, whatever, um, so let's say you're selling, you know, so it's a, it's an, it's not a stable source of income, you don't make the same amount every month, you could be, you can make a big sale once every three months, and then two months you don't sell anything, so you need to ration out your money, um, that kind of thing. So you can be someone who can actually make decent money out of these kinds of inconstant sources of income. Unless, of course, there are malefics in the 11th house or a lot of malefics aspecting the 11th house. And the 12th house 
from the Aruda Lagna will fall in Leo, which shows that your hidden enemy and your hidden enemies are going to be, on the one hand, could be literally your father, because Leo is the father, the son. The son rules Leo, and the son is the father figure, but, so, or father figures in general, could be men who are fathers in general. Um, but also, figures of state, so authority figures could be your hidden enemies, or the state, like for instance, the state could be after you, uh, I don't know, for your taxes or for whatever, like, you might run into trouble with, uh, with authority figures a lot. They will be your hidden enemies, so hidden enemies means people who are not going to tell you to your face that they are your enemy, so they're not going to confront you directly, but they might secretly scheme against you. So they're basically not going to be on your side. And let me think. Oh, and also when it comes to losses, you could incur uh, losses on account of your father. Or you're going to be seen as somebody who incurs um, losses on account of your father or father figures. Or when it comes to like creative um, endeavors or... Um, dramatic speaking, uh, dramatic arts, or dramatic arts, or anything that involves just being center stage, like a public speaker, you know, uh, what do you call them, motivational speaker, for instance. So let's say, I don't know, you, um, this, is, this placement is basically not going to favor you if you want to take on loans, or if you want to invest in these kinds of endeavors because you are more likely to incur losses because of these things so i don't know it could be a creative hobby or a creative business or anything like that or anything involving children so let's say you want to open a kindergarten and it goes badly <laughs> so that's something that you want to take into account so this has been it i hope you have found it useful and once again if you liked it please like subscribe hit the notifications bell to see when i will post a new video and if you're interested in, interested in a personal consultation, please check out the video description. I will leave the contact information there. Thank you.